Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's World. If you're wondering, Dino Bhai, what are you doing in this kind of a lawn area? Well, we are at Hosur TVS factory, TVS headquarters. And guess what? We have a brand new proposition, an all new breed launched by TVS in the 125cc uh, segment. This is something different from what we've seen in the 125cc segment. So this is the TVS Raider 125. So what? makes it so special what makes it stand out almost everything about this is out of ordinary and uh, this is not the straight of the uh, run of the mill stuff that we see in the 125cc commuter segment this is for the millennials the new age rider uh, who demands more uh, for uh, everything every penny he pays or shells out ye dil mange more is the kind of uh, uh, one-liner that uh, defines the millennials of today so this kind of perfectly fits the bill for that so what does it have on offer let's go and find out and then my signature style motor vlog review is also coming people are revving across the track here the factory track and it's been amazing here the weather is perfect and uh, yeah uh, fond memories from the iCube uh, review TVS electric vehicle that is coming to Hyderabad market soon so check out my iCube review it is a force to reckon with in the electric vehicle segment which is buzzing with action and activity all these days so for now let's check out the Raider <laughs> Raider of the Lost Ark is here to you know wreak havoc in the 125cc segment so let's see what it is truly made up of now flipping the camera here we have the all new uh, kind of a design, radical, sporty concept, uh, very unlike a 125cc segment uh, motorcycles that we see. Maybe this comes in line with the Pulsar 125 that they launched recently, Pulsar 125NS. So this is kind of a direct onslaught uh, for that. But uh, the thing that I really appreciate is instead of just giving uh, Apache RTR 160 design or a scaled down uh, existing design they've come up with a brand new design and it looks absolutely kick-ass almost like the face of a superhero you can see the eyes the LED DRLs and premium fit and finish build quality comes as standard when the branding reads TVS and uh, so the Raider what is it truly made up of and as I told you this uh, with this uh, motorcycle TVS is targeting the Millennials the younger generation uh, the young professionals out there at the same time also offering the comfort and utility uh, that the senior folks look from uh, the frugality and the efficiency motor beam team zubair bhai to ekdam christopher nolan ke mafik shoot kar rahe isko inception ka next part aane wala hai but anyway it's a, such a great uh, fun and joy to meet uh, fellow auto journalists after a long long time this is the first kind of a, a launch event that i'm attending post uh, covid maybe the post second wave and uh, here you have the tvs horse logo kind of 3d emblem right here even the raider uh, branding comes in 3d nice chiseled tank 10 liter tank you have utility feature with the usb port Again, the speedo console is a reverse LCD unit. It looks really attractive indoors. Uh, you have a little bit of color touches here and there. It is not a TFT console, but the reverse LCD really works, offers a stunning display, one of the best. It also showcases the range, which is quite unique uh, for the segment. Uh, kind of setting new benchmark. You have the gear position indicator, tachometer, speedometer. Uh, you have the Odo, you have the range. Uh, you have the eco mode indicator and uh, yeah you also get smartphone connectivity via uh, smart x connect tvs uh, initiative so there's uh, more smart features lined up for this in the days to come that will be updated sooner but this is what we start with uh, talking about the power plant powering the bike is uh, 125 cc single cylinder fuel injected b6 compliant engine eco thrust fi is what they call it kind of remember the eco thrust uh, engine from the phoenix 125 which was an absolute blast of a motorcycle really well built and uh, beautiful uh, state of tune very refined 
one of the finest motorcycles but it failed to you know leave an impression i don't know why i had owned the uh, phoenix 125 for some time so it was a beautiful mo motorcycle to own and uh, experience in the 125 cc category in terms of fuel efficiency as well as uh, refinement and performance so this is a completely new bike is what they claim built from the ground up uh, power is around 11.2 bhp torque is again 11.2 newton meters so you can ensure uh, that you get a flat torque curve right across the rev band so at the twist of the throttle the pulling capacity and the pulling uh, force of this uh, motorcycle is going to be an absolute delight to you know rev across this very track but uh, apart from that i am a fan of this headlamp already it looks like a bumblebee face in this uh, yellow color scheme we have this r logo right here which kind of reminds us of the g310 r uh, uh, r logo right on the headlamp but you have the national flag here tricolor flying high you have a few touches here the rubber mounting on this uh, brake pedal aluminium uh, levers here uh, you get uh, 17 inch wheels tubeless tires on both ends a wider 100 by 90 tire is what they claim remora tires for superior grip and better performance uh, on even on wet surfaces this is the tail lamp cluster again looks pretty unique and sporty you have the grab rail for functionality purpose but if you remove this the sporty elegance of this design comes full circle you actually get an integrated uh, grab rail i mean grab uh, slot here but uh, for the regulation sake i think they have added a more pronounced more uh, visually apparent grab bar here the seat is again very good quality i think dual foam technology i don't they have not specified anything but it's very comfortable they claim it is one of the most comfortable seats very spacious adequate room for a pillion and uh, more than sufficient room to serve as a family motorcycle uh, you have very good foam quality textured pattern seat to prevent the rider from skidding and sliding forward while you hit the brake 10 liter tank as i specified before you have a wave bite uh, key so which is again very premium for a motorcycle in the 125 cc category so they're kind of setting new benchmarks switch gear is good high beam flasher and uh, starter button and this is not the engine kill switch this is the power mode selector you have the power mode and the eco mode the eco mode also works with the integrated start stop or intelligent uh, start stop uh, system so as soon as you come to a standstill after a few seconds the engine cuts off and then uh, while you blip the throttle i mean you raise and blip the throttle the bike starts all over again so that's a good thing instead of raising the throttle sometimes people can just fly <laughs> raise their way to glory uh, instead of that so they've uh, given the mechanism of raising and blipping the throttle to start the engine such that the throttle is down while you while the engine turns back on you have a good uh, quality engine cowl this is kind of plastic but it is well bolted together there's no uh, kind of cluttering or anything box section swing arm for better handling capabilities you are talking about the suspension we get 30 mm uh, telescopic forks uh, they say it offers good uh, front end feel for a 125 cc bike at the back we get gas charged mono shock is what they claim it's not clearly visible from here so it's well integrated into the chassis so i'm hoping it's going to be one amazing handler sounds really good you can feel the sound i mean hear the sound in the background the engine uh, i mean the exhaust is uh, well laid out with the aluminium heat plate right here uh, so overall fit and finish build quality you have again the matte finish right here you have different colors you have the black color right over there the red color i'll try and feature it once they are done with the b rolls so this is the overview price has not yet been announced but they say it's going to be again class defining uh, kind of a killer pricing to storm the competition and take the market by storm uh, so let's see tvs raider the wicket ride is what they call it and this is how it looks from different angles and uh, next i'm more curious to see as to how it feels to ride so let's hit the track and uh, let's try and see what this bike is truly made up of talking about the brakes you get a 240 mm uh, petal disc up front and you get a uh, synchronized braking system which means uh, it all works like uh, 
combi brake system so even if you engage only the rear brake the front brake is engaged automatically to reduce stopping distance and offer better braking uh, performance and safer braking performance overall so this was a quick overview price will be updated in the description portion so stay tuned for that and uh, yeah next let's take the bike out for a ride so guys this is the black color variant uh, looks pretty classy and elegant for those who don't want flashy colors uh, this looks pretty sensible and well put together especially this headlamp looks absolutely kick ass <laughs> so if they had offered this in matte black i feel it would have been uh, even better it would have offered or oozed more premium uh, look but as it is it looks pretty sensible so here is the red color variant looks pretty attractive and uh, sporty in this sports red attire and man that headlamp is to die for i think they can transition it into higher segment vehicles also that's how beautiful it is and the tank with the black and red contrast element looks really kick ass one of the best looking uh, 125 cc bikes you can say as of now currently in our market and this is the walk around preview or first look of the red color along with the yellow and black colors that i've featured in this video so next okay off we go suspension slightly on the softer side because it's a commuter and uh, seating ergonomics very comfortable that's what they highlighted that uh, they didn't want it to be too sporty because at the end of the day it's a everyday use motorcycle a 125 cc commuter they have made it look stylish and sporty but the comfort and ease oh <laughs> okay brakes i think because brand new bike the brake pads need to bed in we have a 240 mm pedal disc up front so just 67 kilometers on the clock There's not too much of corners here just one sweeping corner and uh, then you have the straights to hit the top speed back on the track whoa look at the speeds we are doing they say not to 60 this is the fastest and even the top speed is better among the 125 cc class is what they claim and now tvs is known to kind of race ahead of competition because of their uh, expertise in racing now Remora tires on this. Oh. Okay, nice and uh, sporty exhaust note. Let's close the throttle. Get ready for the corners. Okay. Synchronized braking system on board. for uh, combined braking front and rear and off we go towards the straight let's see if we can touch the top speed doing around uh, 95 
the brakes are good <laughs> kind of push the bike to its limits running out of straights break in Good grip from the Remora tires. And great stability for a 125cc bike, it almost feels like a 150 commuter. It's pretty good. So, guys, now talking about the bike in and of itself now first of all the ergonomics are perfectly sorted out so you can use it as a daily commuter that's the first uh, priority of this bike to serve as a daily commuter but they made things more interesting with the sporty uh, radical looking design so this can serve as a perfect college student bike now is what i feel because of the radical sporty looks split seat setup and uh, the headlamp looks absolutely killer so i'm sure the students will be absolutely loving the looks of this bike and what makes it interesting for them is they don't have to empty their pockets to maintain this because of the skyrocketing are you out of your mind are you nuts fuel prices currently prevailing in our uh, nation so uh, the fuel efficiency from this is uh, they are not claiming any particular figure but uh, 60 plus kmpl is for sure depending on how you ride so please check out my mileage tips video uh, uh, on this channel to uh, get some uh, quality important uh, tips as to how you can improve your fuel efficiency so another thing is uh, basically i would say throttle modulation so long as you don't rip the throttle open uh, gives you know sensible linear throttle outputs uh, throttle modulation uh, that uh, ensures that you get good mileage from your vehicle so now we are in uh, power mode we have two riding modes this is power and this is eco uh, normally people mistake this to be the uh, engine kill switch but this is the power uh, mode selector i mean the mode selector button so we're in power mode we've ridden it across the tra track and pushed it across the corner uh, but uh, let's switch to eco mode now in eco mode again fuel efficiency is maximized and top speed is slightly reduced uh, to maximize uh, fuel economy and another thing is the high uh, intelligent uh, start stop system on board so what it basically does is each time you so another thing is you can see each time i press only the rear brake the front brake is automatically engaged so that's uh, the synchronized braking system on board another thing is the moment you come to a standstill at a, a stop signal hit to neutral you can see the bike stops on its own this allows you to uh, contribute towards you know a greener and cleaner environment so how do you start the bike all you need to do is raise the throttle and down blip the throttle is what they say so raise the throttle and down it and it starts so that's a good uh, intelligent way of uh, offering this because usually what people do, do in scooters is uh, if they offer uh, the start stop system they turn on the engine when you open the throttle so if you're not careful while opening the throttle you can just <laughs> rev your way all the way to glory so that uh, to prevent that they have uh, ensured uh, you down the throttle to start the engine so first you just open the throttle slightly and down the throttle blip the throttle to start the engine and uh, that is how the start stop system works on this uh, raider uh, 125 from tvs and uh, another thing is uh, engine refinement very refined even while uh, clocking top speed of i try to clock close to 98 kilometers per hour here before i was running out of the stretch but apart from that refinement is absolutely very good stability is very good 
chassis orientation is brilliant swing arm the rear uh, gas charge monoshock the front uh, telescopic forks uh, offer great stability great front end feel and great cornering stability while pushing the bike through corners as well seat is very comfortable i believe it's a dual foam seat they have not highlighted that but you have texture pattern seat flat bed seat more room for the rider enough room for the pillion and uh, you have a three valve engine so that is an important thing now three valve engine is not seen usually in a 125 cc category so this allows the engine to rev freely at higher rpms uh, so uh, an engine to breathe easy at higher rpms so that allows for a high revving motor to enjoy or extract the sportiness out of this engine uh, apart from that everything else is uh, pretty plain jane and uh, to the point now the exhaust note This is not the engine kill switch, please remember that.